Hello, I'm doing a review here of oil filter wrenches for Toyota, Toyota Prius 2011. Um, they're supposed to work on um, other Toyota models as well, like namely the four-cylinder models. This one's uh, made by this company here. I can't pronounce that, but it's the uh, the uh, Toy 640, and this one has. 14 flutes and it's 64 millimeters and as you can see that the flutes don't go very deep the good thing about this wrench is that it is made in the USA you know which you, you can't get a lot of stuff that's made in the USA anymore but this one is and it will work but the bad thing is if your oil filter canister is uh, put on too tightly then this tool, this tool can slip off. If it's if it's put on more than like 25 or 30 pounds, this tool will just slip off the canister. Here's the second, and this this cost about 16 to 17 dollars on Amazon. Now the other tool I have, it's the same thing. This one's the Toyota oil filter. It says for four cylinder, four cylinder, and this one's made by. Um, it's part number. See, I can't. I can't get that. But it's part number seven one 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 zero, and it's made by an Australian company called PBT. It's actually made in Taiwan, but the company's Australian, and you can you can see that this this one uh, uh, this one has like it's it's a similar to the other tool we looked at. This one's uh, 64 millimeters with the 14 flutes. This one's 64 and a half millimeters with the 14 flutes. Plus, it has these teeth on the edge here that uh, that uh, can grip the filter, which will be very useful if the filter's put on too tight, the, the canister's applied too tight. Because what I found with this one was it was put on too tight and it kept slipping off. But, with this one, this one will work better, you know, if it is on too tight. And this one I paid $25, and I bought this from Amazon as well. And this one has a 27mm uh, hex on the end here, whereas the, the American-made one, it takes the 15th, 16th uh, socket on the hex. And put it on top there like that. Anyway, I, I hope I hopefully this is helpful for everybody. I'm I'm personally uh, in favor of this one, just because. I mean, look, look at it. You, know, you compare the two. If you if you're just going to do normal oil changes, then this is fine. If the if the thing's not put on too tight, but if if it is put on tight, then this is the one to go. This is the one to use. Hope this was helpful so nobody has to go through what I went through. <laughs>